Hello guys. The first thing we're gonna do is listen to me clip my nails because I haven't clipped my nails in like 10 days. Pro tip, having shorter nails means you won't mess up button presses. I learned this from experience, trust me. Turn down my volume some. If anyone is watching me, you let me know how my volume is. So I don't breathe into the microphone like a cunt. Let me do something real quick, and I'll be right back, and we can get this shitty show started, so I will be right back.
Alright. Let's get this stupid crap on the road. So, small advice, I know someone said that the game does, has different loading times. Uh, that's not true. The first time when you load into the game, when you start it up, it's going to take like 10 seconds, 15 seconds longer than it normally would. I would have really hurt myself if this was actually the right spawn. Where the point of the game is how fast can you reset? Oh, this is going to be fun, I can already tell. Sorry for the chewing. But I'm hungry. Okay, so this is the right spawn. Let's not mess this up. So with some advice, do not cold sprint while entering this cave. You will not regain strength when this cutscene plays. Grab that sec, because you need it later. Just hold shift W when running through here. You need to crouch to go through here. You need to crouch again, crouch again. Actually crouch. Crouch one more time. You can take the ladder, but don't do that. Just so. Jump over here. Jump again. Swing the axe five times. That was six. My bad. Jump down here. Jump down some more. Grab this. Jump on ladder. Time split. Climb router. Crouch. <coughs> it's not faster to hold, press shift constantly, but it makes me feel better. I'm teaching you guys so much, you don't even know. Watch out for the magical flying fish right down there. Make sure to jump to there next time. I keep forgetting. <coughs> However, they'll say that just holding down shift normally, you'll stop at a certain point for stamina. When you just spam the shift button, you actually go past a certain point. It's kind of hard to explain, but trust me, it just works. Okay, now we run. Pull out your axe with three.
drink a soda here. This is my guide. Use the trees and rocks to aim for the correct spot. When approaching this cave, make sure you're running. So when you jump, then press E. You put yourself actually under the ground even more. Let go. Press E. Let go again. Learning. Grab that tablecloth. Break this. Swing five times. Drop down here. You can just go down here. Just to do the same thing. Make sure you actually press it, otherwise you take quite a lot of damage. Grab that. Lose some time on that because you're bad. But you'll regain time later because you're good. Push yourself to the limit. Don't fall off the ladder. Rope. Ladder. Whatever. <coughs> Climb this rope as fast as you possibly can. A soda. And I mean the whole soda, even the metal part. Run this way. Use these two rocks and this rock right here to steer yourself. You want to be in between them. Drink another soda. There you are. You used all of your sodas. Since I'm bad, I went around at the left side. Hop like a rabbit. When you get around here, combine your backpack, your stick, combine, press one. I don't even need tip cloth now I think about it. Take damage there because you're bad. Don't take damage there because you're good. Be really freaking careful with your take a medicine. Go down sideways. Careful not to slide there. You can slide there, but now you're dead. JK, you're still alive. Why is there still mutants down this hole? I thought they fixed that. Get your ruby on. Go down here. Go down here. Do not take any more damage, trust or screw it. Run like you, your life depends on it. If you hear charging sounds, you're fucking dead. Ooh. 
actually your phone. Now we're gonna do the easy part. Don't touch any walls or else you're screwed. I forgot to split. If you touch any walls, your movement speed will be slowed to normal swing speed. Regardless if you're holding down shift, the only way to undo this is if you leave the water. And the only way to leave the water here is to actually fucking get out of either side of the sinkhole. I love water levels. Congratulations, you made it out of there without dying. Fast way to do it. You use the fast way. I don't know the slow way because I never do it. Chez's guy to try. Maybe that will be faster. Who knows? It felt a little bit faster. So this is actually the fastest way to travel around. Press jump, hold down space, press jump, hold it. You know what I mean. That's 10 seconds time cut. That's great. Alright, now here comes the tricky dicky part. We need to climb up here as soon as possible. We need to run down here and get this medicine. Slip through here like you're trying to escape prison. Jump over this for style points. Run over here. But don't hold crouch because you're crouch automatically. Take the take the rope thingy. Jump around like a crazy person. Go over here. Now this is the top secret never before seen clip. Go through here. Hold D A. You messed it up. Congratulations. Hold A. There you go. Go through here, turn around, actually stay on this metal piece. Jump. Jump again. You messed up. Go through here, turn around, jump. Go like this. Don't hold anything, hold in one. Switch your weapon to one so you actually jump over that correctly. This might be slow. I think I did yeah, it's game over. Ah! I'm still gonna complete the run though. JK, it's over. I'm gonna complete the run though because I'm never gonna give up. I don't know why that's so hard. 
backwards, jump, turn around, swing once, don't hold nothing, switch, weapon. Alright, we're just gonna go. Alright, we're actually fucking terrible. I might have to perk this some more. Jump actually, but that doesn't never works. Alright, run is over. Congratulations, I lost. You heard it here first, folks. This is how you play the game. Alright, let's try this again. Of course, I won't get a chance now because the game won't put me in the right spawn. Like I said, this is world record any percent in a nutshell. Actually, this game in a nutshell. If you don't get that spawn, there's no point. If I did that clip correctly, I would have I would have been road record. But unfortunately I messed that up. I messed that one stupid clip up, but it's hard. So I won't beat myself up for it. And the game is taking pity on me and give me another chance, so let's not fuck this up. I'm already fucking this up.
because I messed up there and didn't eat that f wait long enough to eat that food. This is gonna cost me like two seconds. but last time I did that split it was 2 seconds and 2.7 seconds so yeah I lost 2 seconds no worries guys yeah, it's just a mistake right? Hey, let me know. alright say hi to the flying fish If they ever remove those flying fish, I will quit speedrunning this game forever. They're the only ones who keep me covered. Comfort. Com comfort. I'm sorry, I was working all day. So I should be exiting that cave at 2.53. game shouldn't be that hard to run, but unfortunately the physics physics are a bunch of whack. This is somehow the run. This is not gonna be no way, huh? I was trying to be G and jump over that wall. I can do that, it's just super hard to. The only thing that this can redeem this run is if I just YOLO jump into the sinkhole and live. I think I'm going to try that. Because this run is super over. This is not the 1520 I want.
least we learned our lesson. Go this way around the pond, not the other way. The other way just loses his time. Alright, I'm gonna try something never before seen. I'm gonna jump down this goddamn sinkhole and live. I'm just prepared. Watch this. Wow. I'm really doing it, guys. Anyone watching this fucking shit show of a stream? Probably not. Nobody is watching this sh fucking shit. Maybe if I change the name, people will watch it. That's a lot better. Give me one second, guys, while I fix this. Okay, now we're ready. Let's try this again. And not mess up. But that's if we get another chance. The plane crash sound is always at minute, or 12 second, and point fifty, twelve point fifty seven, 12.57, whatever. Collect the meds. At 35 seconds, you should be under the plane back wing, as I should say. If any of you are complaining about the quality of my stream, I'm sorry. I used Time Warner cable and I'm dead. And if you, none of you are learning anything from watching the stream, I'm sorry. But I'm not very helpful. Also, Chez, if you're watching, kill yourself.
This is my life. Never see me upload a new world record video. This is what I this is how I did it. It's not very exciting. That's probably why no one wants to compete with world record for me for any percent. Because I'm not making it fun. It's actually really, really, really boring. And I don't know why I'm still doing it. Ugh. One thing I would hate is to have world record be shown on this live stream because then I have to use this live stream as a proof that I have the world record with all the stupid shit that I was saying during it. God damn it. So if we spawn near the sinkhole, which we didn't. But next time we spawn near the sinkhole, I need to get my controls right. Let's be real here. Next time we spawn near the sinkhole, um, I'll basically just practice getting down it. Because why not? Chuz is laughing at me on the fucking Discord. Help. He's mocking me. This is my- this is actually the problem why I don't want to do this game at HDQ, or even try to submit it, just because I'm trying to get a decent spawn. You could be- you can get like the same spawn like three times in a row if you have so super bad luck. And I don't want to su subject people to that painful, painful reset. Like who would want to watch that? You gotta be a complete moron to watch that. Oh yeah, I should also mention there's two spawns, this one and the actual one that works. They look really close, closely sim similar to each other when you first spawn, so it's like a troll. You think you got the right spawn, and then you turn the corner, and it doesn't look anything like it. Alright, so this is near the sinkhole, so I'm just gonna end the time there. So let's jump down the sinkhole, see if, help, see if we can find some the new quick strats, yo, while trying to get world record. Let's see, this point in here. There's a way you can, uh, it's hard to use because there's only some circumstances where it works, where if you, the way you turn, you can, uh, reduce your momentum 
or going down a steep cliff. But it has to be a surface where you can uh, collide with, but not take damage on. The only circumstances where it works. Hello, Throbin. You fucking cunt. Welcome to my stream. Or like get angry at a video game and wanna die. Oh, great run, you show up. I get this I get the good spawn. Good time out of there. So we're on a good track so far. Let's not mess this up. Sit back and watch kiddos. So here's some advice again. Jump. Release your shift button when entering the cave. If you don't, you will not get s fucking uh, stamina back when you jump down there. And sometimes when you go and enter that cave, you don't get your fucking axe. But since cock keys up here, you can pull your, your axe without going into your inventory. Amazing. A little bit slow, but fine. time. That just means we're gonna mess it up even harder. Yeah. It is clean so far. Watch out for the flying fish on the ground. Yes, those were fish. So basically, I think the fastest way to travel when I'm low stamina is to hold on shift immediately press space and then when you land uh, you pull down shift and throw space etc etc so the same thing with exiting that cave it's the deadly fish ca the cave fish all right we're we are going good boys But that's the easy part. We have to get to the hard part, which is this stupid rebreather cave, which never seems to go right. So my plan for that usually is get a good uh, key card cave, and then just play it safe in the rebreather cave. Yeah, should be fine. from jumping down the road. Because too many times have it cratered and I have like 1 HP. 
Yeah, so we're gonna lose time on the cave. It's but still be ahead by 1.3 seconds. The only way I can think of to gain time on that is to not is to do the Dr. Love way. And that's like hug that wall when falling down. And then jump over the uh, wooden fence. But other than that, this cave is like death. It is just death. Alright. I'm not too afraid of getting down the, the sinkhole. The only thing I'm scared of is doing the cafe clip. Which Robin probably hasn't seen before, have you thought of I will teach myself to teach you how to teach others how to do the cafe clip. Okay, easy way to line up the sinkhole, as I already explained. Aim for those rocks and then just go straight. That's 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 all there is to it. And then you just follow this path that you're gonna come up to a pond really soon. Jump over this rock. Don't forget it. This is the pond. Take a right. Don't take a left. First things first though, reach into your bag, pull out this, pull out this, pull out this. Don't go past the clipping point. Alright, I'm playing this way too safe I think, but you can never be too safe. Continue down the sinkhole like you normally would. Take a few damage to prove you're tough. That was good. Run this. Since you have health now, you don't have to worry about getting hit by a McDonald's. But if you hear the charging, then you start being afraid. Alright. My splits are not working. Oh. I pressed the wrong button. I th thought I hit. Oh no. Don't tell me. Alright, this run is over. I accidentally touched a wall, so my swimming speed is really, really slow. Yep. So I will probably won't even get to the door until like minute 12 because of how slow my swimming speed is. Yeah, this is super slow. <sighs> Why do they have to keep the stupid cowman in the game? It's so dumb. Just fix your game already. 
Yeah, when you're super slow swimming speed, you can't even jump out of the water, too. It's retarded. Alright, just for you, Throbin, I will show you the cafe clip. If the cowmen weren't in the game, actually, I would have gotten that every time. But they hit you, too, so you, like, always hit the wall. Sorry. So, because I touched the wall, I have 58 seconds to get to the, uh... Basically, the lab door, which is not gonna happen in a million years. And I just messed that up super hard. Yeah, you know what, Throbin, fuck you. I'm not gonna teach you. You're gonna have to wait until I get a good run. Feels bad, man was right, man. Welcome to speed running what I won. You get nothing for free. For a second there I thought the game just gave me the same spawn. But it's the troll spawn. Let's see. It's okay, Throbin. If I get good RNG I should get the same spawn again soon. Yeah, if I slow down in the water, the run's over. Because you don't even notice it until, uh, it's too late. Water, the killer of runs. Why are water levels so fucking hard in video games? Just trying to think of the circumstances, why that would happen, why you would slow down in the water. Oh, uh, desert level, yeah, well, desert levels is like health management, you know? Gotta keep an eye out on your thirst, or something like that. Oh! Would you look at that? It gave me the spawn again. This is like the best RNG I've ever had of getting the spawn. Sometimes it would take me 80 retries before getting it. I think you, you gave me good luck. Uh,
Alright, let's try Chiz's guide of jumping over that. That is actually a lot faster. Thank you, Chiz. You did something right. Alright. We are doing good time again. So it's going to be the same thing with the rebreather gave. I'm just going to play it safe. There's no fish. Where are my fish? To the cave. Looking good. See, if this game actually operated on, like, fixed RNG, like, you would, every time you would start, you get, uh, a different spawn in order, I would like it. But it's entirely fucking random. And there's no surety of what you'll get. I'm holding a rock. So much anxiety, actually. Oh, I didn't lose so much time in that one. We're making even better time this time. Time. Grab the ladder, please. I don't know why I keep calling the rope the ladder. I must be retarded. Remember, use these three rocks, four rocks, to line yourself up. Don't forget it. Remember that joke?
No, you just need a stick. I'll show you. Hang on. This one I'll show you. Anyway. I'm just gonna run and get hit. This is the correct swimming speed. See how faster I'm swimming compared to before. I'm swimming like dolphin speed before I was just swimming normally. And people say it makes no difference. So instead of the 58 seconds, it's going to take me to get to the keycard door. It's actually only going to take me a minute and 58. Actually, no. That was wrong. That came out wrong. I'm sorry. I'm trying to focus. Actually, spaghetti. That's so fucking hard. I'm so sorry. Oh, the backup strats, though. Chose another try. I'm gonna take his way of getting around this pot. I can't tell if that's slow or that's fast. I'm gonna be a bit behind on time when we're approaching the door, but. Fix my chat window, I can't see the rest of your messages. So just shut up! I'll fix this! I do the clip and you watch! This is probably gonna be my last run for the night because I wanna play solo. This is the cafeteria. This is where the magic happens. You go up here. You go over here. You crouch. You sip in here. Hold A. Swing like a madman. There's two star room foam panels. Jump on those. Jump over here. Turn around. Do a backwards wall jump over this. Land like this. Swing normally. Look down. Switch weapons as you swing down. Once you're up here, bullet your lighter so you can see. 
jump over here. There we go. Okay. My first successful run for the day. Run over here. It might not look like much, because there's, but there's some stuff here. Right above your. Right now, you're above the nurses' So you're gonna fall down here. You're gonna take a buttload of damage, but that's okay. So now you're on top of the cave, the second part of the water cave. So you're gonna f go over here. Here and this, some reason. No, oh, it's not. It. This is it. Okay, for some reason, this part is open. This is the sky, and you should recognize this pretty soon. I don't know why I just took so much damage there. All right, might not look like much, but you. There's actually this spot. Clip through. Walk through here. There's, sometimes you get stuck in there. I actually lost a really good long run because I didn't know I could free myself like that. Go through here. You're in the last part. Jump over the bodies. This is parkour. Probably gonna be a 150... 150... 15... 30. probably gonna be the run. Takes yeah, it's about a minute. Um, so I'm just gonna not freeze to death. So I'm gonna walk around like this, like a madman. And just hug this at bed's time. Alright, and then you just run like a madman. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a 1 15 30. Considering how many mistakes I made, I guess that's a good time. So, okay, no, it's gonna be a 15 25 actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26, whatever. Ugh. Okay, now I can read the chat. Oh my god, that is slick. It is slick. It is also really, really fast, and it's also really, really dangerous. So I'm just gonna let this play out. And probably save this video. Uh, probably save this video. I know it's really shitty quality, but I'll probably upload this, try to get a better run. It's kind of hard to get a better run, cons considering it's hard to even get the run in. Like, you saw how many times... Oh. Ah. What face? But yeah, you saw how many times I had to restart just because stupid stuff happened. Like, that water part is so dumb. That's... that's... Either that's gonna kill your run, or the... Um, the sinkhole, climbing down the sinkhole. Or that, or... Um, just not doing the clip correctly. That will also kill your run. But I think at this point... Um, after... Retrying these runs so many times... Will you shut up? After doing it so many times, um, I would say the Rebreather Cave, you can play it the safe way. And then you can play the, uh, key card way. You, it's really hard to die or mess up at the key card cave. It's just a matter of, uh, doing it fast. It's a bunch of timing stuff. And then just running in between, it's just don't get lost. Look for landmarks to not get lost. That's my advice. Oh my god, I gotta... I gotta boast on the Discord about this, hang on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm so good. Oh. Kappa. So, it's just... If this game didn't have stupid RNG of where you would spawn, yeah, I would definitely try to submit this game to uh, HDQ. But it's just... You can get, like, the same spot eight times in a row. I've had that happen. And I, at that point, I just want to kill myself because it's no point... It's just no fun. It's like, when does this end? And it's, like, the worst spot you can get. You know, take, like, five minutes to even get to one of the caves. So either that or just say the suggested time would probably be 25 minutes. I don't know. But I think as soon as they fix the stupid peaceful um, bug, where you got those guys spawning in the sinkhole, I think uh, my runs will be a lot more consistent. And getting down to the sinkhole. Yeah, that's what I was, actually what I was thinking at first was um, making a save and then making a save actually in the plane all the way in the back. Get up just all the necessary materials, use an inventory editor and just remove everything else. Remove the axe. Actually, no, if you remove the axe, then uh, you can't get it back. But yeah, I have just the axe, and then you would just grab the normal stuff, stuff like normal. That would be pretty consistent in towards the runs. Um, but it might mix up of what you need to grab. So yes, that is definitely a suggestion. That would take into consideration. It's just, it's just for me, it's kind of against the rules. Like, I could to fix that the, uh, to fix the guys spawning. In the sinkhole, I can just type in vegan mode, so this appears, and no enemies would spawn, I think, except the final boss. And then meat mode to go back. Because it's just, it's just I'm so salty about the guys spawning in the stupid sinkhole. It's just not fun. Because cowmen come and ruin your day. Yeah, I didn't didn't I have you like try that? Yeah, I had you try that and it didn't work. <laughs> I think it's cuz you have to beat the game or something or something of the way. Uh, fun. I think, uh... Okay, yeah, you have beaten the game. I just don't know why, dude. I think I'm just gonna try, just practice the cafe clip multiple, multiple times because I feel that's where I'm weakest and I can probably get more time out of that. Because I'm just playing it so careful because it's easy. If you mess up at a certain point, um... You can't continue anymore. You basically fall into the skybox for fall into the ground forever, and the other one is um, if you mess up at that vent part, you fall back into the vent, and you have to go all the way back, and just it's not fun. You have to go all the way back, redo it, the whole thing. There's too many places where you can just mess up. So, um, I'll go into greater detail for you, Throbin, of how the whole thing works, because I was just trying to quick word it. I'll go into whole detail, just just for you, buddy, just because I got a good time finally. Even though I kind of messed up in a few spots.
Yeah, you can make temporary self just to make shit. Uh, yeah, you can make temporary saves. Temp use temporary shelters to make saves. Wow. Okay. So when you go into here, I don't know why, but when you're holding down A and you swing, the game forces you to the left. I guess because there's a gap right here. I don't know. I just pushed me back in. So it forces you to the left. Um, and then you just crawl over here. You notice that I'm on a styrofoam panel, the hanging panels, and then and they're collidable. So I would just hang on the side, jump from one to the other, and then make it to this part. For the longest time, I swear, I didn't know how to get past this part. Um, but you have to. S okay, you notice that this part is um, a bit elevated than the other piece, the pipe piece, because you're staying on top of the wall. So for whatever reason, when you're running backwards and you jump, you can jump twice, jump off a wall, a vertical wall. So what I figured out was I jump back, turn around, and I get myself stuck. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm stuck in the wall. I'm not even holding down any controls. Like I'm not holding down any controls. So if you would normally swing down, you would do this, where it's like the jumping down thing. Uh, let me get off of here. Because there's no way to get, do that, so basically you jump, go back over here. You swing once, and then you do it. And you notice when I swing down, um, I temporarily jump up a position. So when you switch weapons, you actually cancel the animation. So when I swing down, Oops, I forgot my keys aren't running. So I swing down, switch to weapon, I instantly cancel the animation, I stand right back up, so I'm allowed to jump over that. This part, um, this is the vent part, this is where you can mess up, because you have to go all the way back around and then do the same thing all over again. So what I normally do is just hold down shift right here with my pinky, jump, not do that, hold down pinky, jump, jump again so I land on the pipe. Once you're on the pipe you're fine. And this part, I thought I was screwed at this part because I couldn't see the uh, the the nursery. Yeah. So I just decided, you know what, leap of faith, just walk in this direction. And so you walk in this direction, you're actually on top of the nursery. And there's a uh, small jump there. I'm not sure, quite sure what that is. And then you jump over again. And I died there. It's really rare to die there, actually. My bad. Watch my body get eaten. Nice. So, so another improvement on this run is making the spear and putting it into the hotkey when you put the rebreather on. Uh, can you emphasize on that? I'm not quite sure what you're getting at. Oh, you mean? Oh, yeah. I I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean. Um, a putting Ruby their own wine in the same menu as putting the stick as your hotkey. I'm basically picking up a stick. Um, it's not a spear. It's a, it's a stick. It's it's this thing I'm holding. Because a lot of a lot of weapons have the same uh, animations like. All the axes have the same animation as the plane axe. Rocks have the same animation as heads, skulls, and all that. Sticks have an interesting animation. Um, let me see if I have a thing in my inventory. I think bone has the same animation as a stick. Um, except for the fact that when you look down with a stick, um, you poke with it. I think you do it with uh, a few other things. No. So actually, yeah, I lied. A lot of things actually have the plane axes animation. Sticks. A few, very few things have a stick. Some things have like really unique ones, like uh, the turtle shell. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Yeah, it should save a menu opening. I just keep forgetting to do it. I did it before in my Fumer runs, and you, j you know, I just I, I've been I've been running for only like forty minutes. I just got home from work. I haven't done a run since a couple a week and a half ago. So I was kind of out of it. Yeah, I want the word record to be pushed even more. Because, number one, I want the game to be run faster. Number two, when I upload the world record, I don't want to uh, spend all the time uploading the video because my upload speed is actually pretty piss poor. I don't know what that means. Okay. I think there's a way I can get past your faster. And that's one. If I do this, uh, no, nope, that didn't work. Actually, let me try doing something. Let me let me go over here and actually let me load the nursery normally. So I believe I don't know what the loading zone is. I believe we're here. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna load the nursery. I want to experiment with a few things. So the nursery is now loaded. I'm gonna go back. Because once you enter a room in this game, it stays loaded. So I'm going to go back and do the clip all over again. I haven't done this before, I don't know why. Oh, so it unloads it. Huh. I guess I would. never loaded it in the first place. Mm. Okay, uh, important thing to make the note of when I'm doing this. Once you get to the second wall and jump over it, just walk normally. Don't jump. And my game just crashed. Good. Good job. Too much clip. Too much clip is bad for the game. Clapper is right. We did it, boys. We broke the game. But yeah, I don't know if Chiz is watching. If you are Chiz, I'm sorry for saying this, but if you need any advice, ask me about this clip. Because I'm kind of the one who found it. I guess yeah, when it's crash percent, uh, it's, I think it starts right away when you just spam buttons and a game crashes. And you notice, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I first load into a game, you see the, a quick glimpse of the level before the loading screen is finished. And for some reason, when you load a new game and that happens, you're put um, a bit north on the island and you're holding a bone spear. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's trying to say. If that's as the devs, it's just crazy, you know. <laughs> a way to like get out of the map on here. Yeah, something like that. 
you have to get a, you to, I think you have to get lucky and get RNG for a third jump. Oh yeah, that's another thing though, is that you can very unlikely um, you can get a third jump off a vertical wall. I've never had it happen to me before. Actually, you know, a few times. I have, just trying to experiment with this glitch. Just trying to figure out the most efficient line I think I did. But yeah, Threvin, um, definitely try experimenting with this glitch. Stream it so I can make fun of you. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the Forest 2017, boys. See if my game will not crash. I think the game crashed because I loaded the nursery and then something happened and then when I dropped down it just died. See that this part's a little scary just because there's black uh, lines and everything and hides stuff. Question mark. But I think at this point, I actually got lucky before with uh, not taking two sets of damage because you have to drop down, yeah, you know, like I showed a third time. And I I tried looking ahead, like I tried looking ahead of this part and thinking, is there another way? And I don't think I did a very good job. That was sort of scary. Let me try getting up on this part if my flashlight would not be shit. Let me use an efficient... Let me use the torch, guys, because that's how you properly say it, guys. I'm British. Alemile. Um, I think I have to go around even further back. Yeah, I'll go to Pion. So this is, um, so that's like the giant, like, pit right there. And then this is the beginning part of... Uh, the final stretch. So even more on top, you can see the level. You can fall right through that, too. It's sort of like a forest minus world. <laughs> Upgraded stick. So, yeah. Because we can, this is still like the unloaded world. I haven't gone through a section to actually properly load it. So it might actually look normal on this side, but I think you will find that if I go down here, there's a pair of doors missing. And there's a giant hole in the ground. The doors are there. There's a giant hole in the ground. Um, oh yeah, and swimming is like hopeless. Don't even try swimming. Oh yeah, and all the dead bodies are gone. And see, the thing is, um, you could say, oh, aren't you worried about them fixing this? The thing about this thing is, uh, I'll show you. So we're still in the, I want to say, minus world. So going through here, um, we're still in the minus world, but... 
Oh yeah, that's another scary thing too. Let me demonstrate. If this happens to you, um, Throbin, while doing your run, let me get it. It's a random thing that happens. Okay, it doesn't happen to me just because when I want to demonstrate it, it doesn't. But when I'm running it, it always happens. There's a there's a chance you'll get stuck in the ground, and then you'll run run to this part, and you won't be able to progress. Just uh, down, just like down thing that thing, yeah. Forehead. Well, if they want to fix not falling out of the map, then they would fix all the uh, bugs that allows us to get into that situation. This is this is Babby game. So you um, notice now, this is where I fell, you notice now this is all patched up. Because where we went is basically like uh, the soft load version of the cave that you see right now. I guess you want to call it that. <laughs> well, not all of them. Because I can get out of the map super easily. All I need is a goddamn fucking sled. And I'm out of the map. I'm also thinking, like, right here, this is like, um, reference to the Amnesia Dark Descent. The collapsed uh, wall, the collapsed ways with the rubble, and then you can just like get out, sort of. It's actually almost no time, but you can't. <laughs> I recognize this blue screen. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do. Yeah, you know, spam and crouch. Except in this game, I'm like spam and crouch as fast as I can. It's you have to complete a certain a, a certain time of the animation before you fully crouch. I'm trying to think if there's a way to actually... What the fuck? We're doing it, guys. I think there's an actual way to get to the um, final elevator part faster. Because if I can find that... Wait, what? Don't tell me. Oh my god, guys, we're breaking the game left and right. They didn't patch this up at all. Now the question is, where do we go from there? This is exactly like Amnesia, actually. Right, let's drop down over here. It's amnesia, it is. I swear to god, dude. Um I don't think there's anything you can do from here. Like I said, there's like so many spots you can get out of the map, but how many spots can you really use? Like I can just like yellow jump. Actually no this invisible wall. Can I get get back down here, please? Let's let's actually explore this. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna try to get on the side wall. So right now I'm on the side wall. 
Is this how you just skip the elevator altogether? Nope. 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 I'm falling. I'm falling. Help. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just dead, guys. Help, please. Yeah. Yeah, I tried hitting the elevator button. I don't know. Who can say where the road goes? Where the ocean flows? This is exactly a Misha. It is, dude. It is. I swear. Except the amnesia, you actually finally die. You never die. You just keep falling. I can switch weapons, though. I don't know. I'll have to investigate that even further. Maybe there's something there. I don't see a lot of potential there. I think... Because to my understanding of how the elevator works... <laughs> Jumping on the map. You fuck it up. Exactly. My understanding of how the elevator works is... Um, do do do. Uh, if you... Once you press the button... You're in there and then you get teleported... To the top elevator. The elevator actually never moves. Because it actually never moves because if it were to move, it would have to go like Willy Wonka style elevator. It doesn't go up. So you just get teleported when you're in the elevator. It's it's the same thing with the uh it, it's the same thing with uh the key card door. That you can't activate it unless you uh, trigger the cutscene. Now I guess I'm just waiting until the developers make a mistake. And they try to do something to it and it goes in my favor. I mean I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, this is this is my stream now. Just just falling forever. I'm gonna starve to death and die. Because I can't get my inventory. Because I'm falling. I can switch between a stick and an axe. Even bare grills will have trouble getting out of this one. Alright, mate, I think that this is time I drink my own piss. Funny stream. Throbin, you better be my competition, all right? I don't know if I can trust anyone else. No one's as committed as you and me. So yeah, let's actually let's have let's have someone. Let's let's go back over to that spot and see what we can do with it. Maybe there's something, maybe you never know. These are the things you have to poke around with them. You never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, you got a, you got a good time in amnesia, so this game's not that different. You sort of just run around get yourself out of bounds not actually ever have to fight anything uh, 
But yeah, that's the thing. You can't practice for 20 minutes with this game. It's You have to keep retrying until you get a good run. And then there you go. That's your practice for the day. And that can take 40 minutes or it can take two hours. Or in my case, sometimes four hours. I wish I could throw the chairs in this game, dude. If I could, if I can manipulate the chairs in this game, with not just like pushing them around, I would just get down the sinkhole so easily. You don't even know, you don't even know how easy it would be to get down the sinkhole. And then there would be chair for some. Just grab an airplane chair and beat the game with it. So I want to I want to like cut across like this, but if I do that, I get stuck. Yeah, the one on top. See, the one on top of the sinkhole actually. Oh, fuck. Nope. The one on top of the sinkhole, um, gets stuck. Just basically hits an invisible wall a little bit down. It doesn't actually go down like uh, logs do in the game. That's the disappointing thing. And if you jump on it, you die. Or you go through it, I don't know. Let's play the game. Let's let's play the. Uh, is it faster to go through other parts? Game. I guess, I guess you could just drop down through here. I think this is actually faster. Yeah. Yeah. This is okay. This is actually faster. I just discovered because you don't have to do jump and jump and jump and jump. Uh, to get to that part. You can just jump down through there. That'll probably save at least like three seconds. Three or four. So I guess I'll add that to my notes. Yeah, it's a lot less annoying. It's, it's a lot less trash. Trash. You still take damage though. So, I guess if you're good, and you don't take two sets of damage when dropping down onto the cave top from going from going from the uh, the lab, I guess you, yeah, you can afford to just jump down through that hole. Okay, that is super easy actually, just to get out of there. Okay, I'm running on the side. I'm just out of reach. Maybe on the other side. I oh, should help. 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 Call for help. I think on the other side I might be able to do something. Um, the problem is that there's a ball in the way. So yeah, that, that, not playing hopscotch on the rocks, that would probably save five seconds. So next time I run, I'll do that, do it that way. i probably get the sub 1520 that I've been hoping for, for all these days.
Yeah, the let's just say, guys, that the uh, <laughs> the wall clip that you, we all know and love is dead. I killed it. Let me try doing it from here. Nope, you just die. Okay, so you have to you have to hug pretty close to the uh Oh god, the cannibal in the cave. You have to stay pretty close to that um piece of wall. Because if you go too far, uh, the drop is just too big. Yeah, and I don't think these guys are the type of developers that just want to fuck speedrunners. Like, fuck the developers who want to just screw our speedrunners, dude. Like, we're not sh we're not hurting anyone, man. And all the de all the players who play the game normally aren't going to experience the things we see. Let's just put it that way. We want to break the game because it helps us. Not because I want to complain and this needs to be fixed. Hang on, I think I know how to fix... I think I can actually skip this rope, just go like... I have to turn around, run backwards, and then... I have to jump... Ugh, it's so close. Yeah, I can see the... I can see the thing up there, hang on. Ah, it's so close. a big waste of time. So if I can do this, this saves about probably four seconds. Hmm. This is a tough one. I think I actually, let's see how far I have to be. I have to be this far from the top. I don't know how far from the bottom. Probably the same distance. Because you notice it's actually up here. Like right when I'm swinging. That's the trigger. So I have to be this distance from the bottom. So I'm probably right or pointing. I don't know. I guess that's more experiment stuff. This is the no rope percent. We don't use any ropes. 
ropes are for wusses. <gasps> After doing that, I discovered something else. That if I go over here and actually just go from here onto here. No. I lied. I'm trying to run. Yeah, it's it's hard because Let me do something. Let, let me let me show you something. So this is the character model. And this is the model you can see. Okay, you're, you're pretty fat. So, right here is your extra chubbiness, right here, and it's you're more of a, a, a rectangle than you are a square. Okay, so this would be a normal character model. In the forest, you're an absolute Kona, so you have a really fat um, chub. So that means when you're hugging a wall, you can't do crazy backflips like the and all that. So in a vertical wall, so let's just recreate this. So vertical wall, you jump, you jump again, and this is your model right now. And then when you jump and you turn, your model gets stuck inside the wall. Okay, that's why you get stuck in there because you stick your fat stomach in there. So that's that's basically the character model in a nutshell. Um, it's dumb. So that's why I was saying with that's why you saw me jumping. Um, on the, the basically like side wall jumping. I'm losing all my words. <laughs> uh, that's basically like side wall jumping because uh, it's also a flat surface. That's why you just can't double jump off a wall while facing it because you're fat. And that's why it wouldn't work uh, to leave. Yeah, that almost worked actually. That's That shows potential. Just drop into the obsidian. And you know, so I'm still playing in peaceful, yet we go over here and there's just babies everywhere. And there's also. Jesus. There's also a uh, armsy down the hall, too. Let me see if I can get back there. Supposed to be experimenting with with a wall clip at the end, and yet here I am just messing around the nursery. Oh god, they're coming! Is there anyone to get up there? It might be a hand. Uh, 
this, this is this is the worst to watch, actually. I'm sorry that I have to subject you all to watching this. This is absolutely wretched. Yeah. Um. I guess I'll uh, <laughs> experiment with that uh that um room for the elevator another time. I think I'm done streaming for now. Thank you all for attending the New World Record. Yay. I'll post that on the, the leaderboard later tonight. But yes, thank you all for watching. We did it, guys. Yay. Tune in next week when we get 15, 20, hopefully. Or something stupid. Anyway. Yeah, thank you for watching. Good.